This is GPRC. Welcome to the Dark Star 16 tutorial video. In this series, we will cover first, introduction to Dark Star 16 product information. Second, how to install DJI O4 Pro on the Dark Star 16 WTFPV version. Third, how to activate the DJI O4 Air Unit Pro and bind with goggles. Fourth, how to bind Dark Star 16 with the DJI FPV remote controller and set up Beta Flight Configurator. Fifth, how to bind Dark Star 16 with an ELRS remote controller and set up Beta Flight Configurator. Sixth, pre flight checks and precautions. This series of videos is designed to help users better get started with the Dark Star 16 model. The package includes a Dark Star 16 WTFPV version or a Dark Star 16 DJI O4 Pro drone, a camera protector, a top plate, a propeller guard, a set of spare propellers, two pigtail antennas, a 6 cm coaxial cable, a DJI original 6 pin cable, a SIM card pin, a screwdriver, a screw pack, and other accessories. That's all for this episode. In the next episode, we will introduce how to install the DJI O4 Pro on the Dark Star 16 WTFPV version. Episode 2 How to install DJI O4 Pro on the Dark Star 16 WTFPV version. Take out the Dark Star 16 WTFPV version. Remove the damping balls and the ELRS antenna on the flight controller. Remove the top plate. Take out the O4 Pro with the replaced coaxial cable and the top plate. First fix the pigtail antenna. Use 4M 2x6 screws to fix the VTX module. Use M2 by 35 pen head screws to secure both sides under the camera. Install the camera protector. Use M2 by 5 pen head screws to fix both sides of the upper part. O4 Pro successfully mounted to the top plate. The FC of Dark Star 16 has reserved VTX power cables. Please note, if you need to use the DJI FPV remote controller, you must replace the power cable with the DJI original 6-pin cable. Unscrew the screws of propeller guard. Remove the propeller guard. Take out the printed part for the receiver. Deolder the pre-soldered power cable and disconnect the RC pads on the FC. Cut the 6-pin cable to equal length. Strip 2 mm of silicone. Tin the wires. Tin the FC pads. Solder the 6-pin cable according to the pad diagram. Reinstall the receiver mount and propeller guard. Insert the power cable into the DJI O4 Pro. Fix the four damping balls. And reinstall the ELRS antenna. The Dark Star 16 WTFPV has been successfully installed with the DJI O4 Pro. That's all for this episode. In the next episode, we will introduce how to activate the DJI O4 Air Unit Pro and bind with goggles. Episode 3, how to activate the DJI O4 Air Unit Pro and bind with goggles. Air Unit activation requires the latest DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series software. Search DJI official website, enter the homepage, select service and support, find download center. On the software tools page locate DJI Assistant 2, Consumer Drone Series. Select and download. Choose Mac or Windows version accordingly. After installation, open DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series. Connect Dark Star 16 with a 2S battery. Connect the Type C cable to the VTX port and link it to your computer. Select DJI O4 Pro. Begin activation. After successful activation, the VTX is ready for use. Next is goggles binding. Also use DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series. Check whether your goggles firmware is the latest version. Update if needed. Power on Dark Star 16 and Goggles 3. 
on Goggle System Status page, select a model. Switch VTX to DJI 04 Pro. Press and hold power button for 5 seconds. Goggles beep continuously meaning binding mode. Use the SIM card pin to press the DJI 04 Pro bind button. The air unit LED changes from solid red to flashing red, then solid green. Goggles now display the VTX feed. Binding is complete. That's all for this episode. In the next episode, we will introduce how to bind Dark Star 16 with DJI FPV remote controller and set up Beta Flight Configurator. Episode 4 How to bind Dark Star 16 with DJI FPV remote controller and set up Beta Flight Configurator. Before binding, distinguish DJI FPV remote controller 2 and 3. DJI FPV RC2 must pair with Goggles 2. DJI FPV RC3 must pair with Goggles 3. And their binding sequence differs. First let's bind Goggles 2, RC2, and the drone. Power on all devices. In Goggles system status page, select a model. Switch VTX to DJI 04 Pro. Short press the binding button inside the goggles. They beep continuously, meaning binding mode. Press the DJI 04 Pro bind button with SIM card pin. LED changes from solid red to flashing red then to solid green. Goggles now display VTX feed. Binding completed. Next, bind DJI FBV RC2 with the drone. While the RC powered on, press and hold the power button for 5 seconds. RC beeps continuously, meaning binding mode. At this time 04 Pro LED is green. Since it is connected to goggles, press DJI 04 Pro bind button with SIM card pin. LED changes from green to flashing red to solid green. RC beeping stops. Binding completed. For goggles 3 binding please refer to the previous episode. We take the prepared DJI Goggles 3 and DJI FPV Remote Controller 3. Power on the Goggles, Remote Controller, and the Drone separately. After powering up, press and hold the power buttons of both the Goggles and Remote Controller for 5 seconds, until they continuously beep. When the beeping stops and the power indicators of both devices remain solid. Binding completed. Take out the Darkstar 16, connect Darkstar 16 to computer with Adata cable. Open Betaflight Configurator. Go to Receiver page. Change protocol to SBUS. Save and reboot. Return to the Receiver page. And move the control sticks to check whether each channel responds correctly to the remote controller. Go to Modes page. The following settings are preset by default at the factory. AUX1 is the arming channel. AUX2 switches between manual mode and self-stabilization mode. And AUX3 turns the beeper mode on or off. Adjust channels and ranges as you like. Save changes. After receiver and mode setup. The drone is ready to fly. That's all for this episode. In the next episode, we will introduce how to bind Darkstar 16 with Yalres remote controller and set up beta flight configurator. Episode 5 How to bind Darkstar 16 with Yalres Remote Controller and set up Beta Flight Configurator Using Boxer Remote Controller for demo First turn on internal or external RF module Return to home Press this button to enter Lua script menu Select Express LRS script Scroll down to bind option Put controller aside Power cycle Dark Star 16 three times with 2S battery. Receiver LED blinks blue twice. Drone enters binding mode. Short press bind option on controller. Wait until binding completes. Telemetry recovered. Long press RTN to return to home. Confirm telemetry signal on controller. Binding completed. Connect drone to beta flight configurator. Return to the receiver page. And move the control sticks to check whether each channel responds correctly to the remote controller. Go to modes page. 
The following settings are preset by default at the factory. AUX1 is the arming channel. AUX2 switches between manual mode and self-stabilization mode. And AUX3 turns the beeper mode on or off. Adjust channels and ranges as you like. Save changes. After receiver and mode setup. The drone is ready to fly. That's all for this episode. In the next episode, we will introduce Pre-Flight Checks and Precautions Episode 6 Pre-Flight Checks and Precautions Before Takeoff Dark Star 16 requires the following checks First, check battery is fully charged 2S LiPo full voltage is 8.4V Second, check propellers are securely mounted Not deformed or damaged Confirm correct orientation after replacement. Third, check remote controller and goggles are properly connected to Dark Star 16. Fourth, ensure takeoff area is open and clear of obstacles, away from people and valuables, to avoid damage or injury. Performing these checks ensures safe flight. Thank you for watching. Appendix How to replace the coaxial cable on DJI 04 Pro. First, use an M1.5 screwdriver to unscrew the four screws at the bottom of the DJI 04 Pro. Remove the original antenna. Install the two included pigtail antennas. Then unscrew the two Phillips screws above and below the camera. Remove the coaxial cable connecting the camera and the VTX. Take out the rubber plug on the lens. Remove the long coaxial cable. Replace it with the included 6 cm coaxial cable. Reinstall the rubber plug. Secure the coaxial cable to the camera. Put the lens back cover on. Make sure to check the logo orientation. Avoid installing it backwards. Screw back the camera screws. Reconnect and secure the camera to the VTX. Screw back the previously removed VTX screws. DJI 04 Pro is now ready.